Oh. Okay. Alright. Oh, I shouldn't have a drip. Fuck. Okay, yes, the one of four Pokemon. That's fine. Hello, my Dargans. I probably just burst your eardrums there. It is Ivy, one and only Dragon Team of Ruiz. Back in the dead, as it were, bringing you all some more. Well, some more. A new series of sorts. As I say in my update video, I will be recording Pokemon Shield. I wanted to potentially have, you know, some friends while recording, but some implications happened, which was very sad. I kind of wanted for this all to, you know, be a nice little. Well, at least one other person to be with me, so we, you know, share experiences, but that's, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. And I thought, let's just get started, because my throat's gonna hurt. I mean, I have this old bottle of water here. Let me see how bad this is. Yeah, it's top water, alright. Alright. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with a thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon, which we share our lives. He is very ex like expressive right there. As you know, our society is able to thrive. The fuck are you? Fix the help with these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even in, even with us in our towns. Oh my God, I can. Okay, let me just like move things so that way I can actually read the screen. I was not prepared for this. I've like it's 12:10 right now. We did like five minutes for the other guy, but he didn't show up, so that's fine. And those with us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for the champion Leon's ex ex exhibition match. Oh my god, I cannot speak. Man, being undefeated, I wonder when that streak is going to end. It's definitely, definitely not going to be for some random kid, right? Who the fuck are you? Exposition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you. Okay, I would not lose this battle. Okay, alright. Alright, no, just touch talk, guys. That's fine. That's fine. Just, you know, speak. And man, your Dynamax right away does not only last three fucking to what the f... You know what? I've seen pictures of this. I have not seen this in motion, though. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> but it's like terrifying in the cool way, if that makes sense. Now we have cute little sheep. Alright then. I have my phone in my pocket. Actually, let me make sure I didn't get any last minute text from work. Nope. We're fine. We have a nice little munchlax in our, you know, house. I mean... Is that supposed to be like a sw Nintendo Switch Lite or something in your hand? Because if that's the case, that's... I do not... I would not freaking get one of those at all. Hello, hello. Or hello, hello. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. Oh, that's your flat. That, that your flash new phone. What the f That your flash new phone, Ruiz. That is a sentence. We were watching Lee's exposition match on it, but you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Uh, Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over here to get Ruiz. Never mind watching the match now. I got it recorded at home anyways. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Ruiz. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents w when he visits, so I, would f I wouldn't forget your bag if I were you. Oh my god, I can't speak. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Some of that wording might be proper English, but like, damn, that's hard. Also, did we put our phone in our pocket or like? Oh my! Oh my! I am not used to the game responding this fast to me. 
How you doing, Munchlax? Wake up, buddy. Om nom. Good boy. Uh, leave it in my room. Grab your hat. Weather stuff as well. Okay, do I, uh, where is my room? <laughs> Are we... Oh, okay, no, just like a nice, nice little place over here. Oh, oh my... Hmm. I got my dad's old bag. Wow. Our father's dead, isn't he? <laughs> Especially if it's an old bag. Alright, then. I bet you guys, open the X, yeah, 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 town map, okay. One s quick second, is there a way to, uh, <laughs> Tyroscope, use, autosave, on... Actually, I'm gonna keep autosave off. I think that'll be fine. Casual controls off, gyroscope, nicknames, give, that's fine. Manual. Uh, send the boxes, we set that to automatic, actually. Switch, battle effects on, tech speed fast, we need that fast tech speed. Um, I think that's it. Sadly, there's nothing to do with fixed sensitivity, because I feel like... <laughs> it's a bit, like, icy, like, you, like, you sort of, like, have to like, wait a bit for the screen to, like, catch up with you when you're moving, which I guess makes a bit more sense, but I, I don't know, it, it, that felt very weird for me. Hop is waiting for you, better get to him, I guess, like, I think that's what the rest of that said. Oh my god, I'm actually excited I'm actually able to play a Pokemon game that I said I was going to record and actually be able to record it, unlike Sun and Moon and then Ultra Sun and Moon because I was a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> nice to see you too, Ah. <sighs> okay. I've already forgotten the voice I gave him. I think I just gave him a generic, slightly higher pitched voice of mine. That's fine. Haha! <laughs> Have you- Ugh. Have a look at you, Ruiz. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. I doubt that, buddy! <laughs> I feel like that's a bit of, you know, like, over-exaggeration. Hey, Wulu, what, what's it doing here? There, there was a Wulu following you this entire time. Uh, shouldn't we stop this? Hey, you silly Wulu, I see that you're up to... I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fence. Now you listen. Don't go in past the fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weld. Meh. But the grass tastes so good. No, well, that's taken care of. How about it, Ruiz? Let's race. I bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging that big old bag? Bitch, you got a head start. This is cheating. Cheater. I call cheats, alright? He's obviously gonna beat me. You got a head start. Ugh, I swear, the nerve of some people. At, at least, like, get ready, I know, I smirks, like, go kind of stuff, you know. But no. Oh, this is a nice little quaint house. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you have a reason along with you. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed up in the cupboard? He's not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. You probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going to go. I know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost in the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. You've got to come with Ruiz. You still never, you still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Supposedly undefeated champion. I'm not believing it for a second. He's not, he, there's some fishy shit going on there. I'll wait for you on the route. Then I got to be completely wrong. Um, oh, you have a little purloin? I sometimes forget that purloin stands on two feet, and I always find it weird when I look at it when, like, in that way. We're going down the road, right? So it's over here. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Ruiz, wild Pokemon could come with you out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Ruiz. So steer clear from tall grass as we go. Uh, uh, okay. I mean, I can try. Go. No. I'm steering clear. I wonder what the crowd's there for. It's probably definitely not the champion or anything. Oh, it's more grass there, damn it. Grass is a no-go zone. Oh, what did you know? 
Okay, now what voice am I going to give him? Hmm. He's cocky. Apparently undefeated. Does poses. Okay. Hmm. Hello, hello, Wedgehur we Wedgehurst! Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbe unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you can all carry on your training in your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been working in our on our battle skills just like you taught us, Lee. Ooh, ooh, that was there was some. Hmm. I don't think this can. I don't think quite Switch can handle this many models on screen. <laughs> but with that Charizard of yours, it's too strong for the likes of us to take on. You bet your ass. Too true. That Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be just as strong. That's why I want a strong. I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. Eventually, someone will have to beat me. It's only a science. My wish for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Charizard noises. Lee! Hop! Oh, I shouldn't be screaming, actually. It's 12 a.m. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's sort of a shot by that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. You gotta be... You got it. I've got it. You must be Ruiz, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion with a massive Charizard fan... And a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Ruiz. But I can beat the both of you... Uh, back home. Uh, Hop. That Hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? Uh, too bad I'm gonna roast his Wulu tonight and eat it for dinner. With a proper rival out of his own, I bet he pushed himself to become something truly special. Look at my sponsors on my flag. That's how you know I'm important. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell today, but do not fret. I always be around to make sure everyone in the gallery can have uh, a champion time. I, I think I read that wrong. <laughs> oh, well, carry on. <sighs> All right. He seems like a character. He seems all fun in games. But I, I just can't trust anyone. I'm sorry, but you give me something untrustworthy. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Ruiz and me a Pokemon, didn't you? You know, I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Starters? 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 Take a look at you two. The Grass-type Pokémon, Grookey. The Fire-type Pokémon, Score Buddy. And the Water-type Pokémon, Sobble. Look at them run around! Oh, a bunch of merry misfits! Just make sure Score Buddy doesn't catch anything on fire. Sobble, you be on that. Grookey, do your thing. There you go. Oh no. Not again. God damn it, Sobble. Shut the fuck up. Grookey? Good Grookey. Oh, Alright, everyone, line up. Which will you choose? Well. You see. My starter's been decided since they've been revealed since day one. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. And it's going to be... Yeah, no, it's going to be Sobble. Um, I sort of, I... I don't know, I, I like Sobble's like, first design the best, and... Well, I have to admit, I think I like Grookey's design a bit more better than... Like, sorry, Grookey's final evolution design more than I like Sobble's. I've seen promotional art of Sobble's evo last evolution, and it reminds me of Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho, and I like that anime. So, fuck it, and for the first playthrough, I'm gonna pick Sobble. That's the water type, Sobble. 
It adapts to anything as, sh as surely as water flows. That is a weird sentence. Going with the water type Pokemon Sobble? Yep. Would you like to give Sobble a nickname? Yes, and as I just stated, I'm going to nickname him after what he re You fucked up, didn't you? Yes, I did. Don't worry, I think you can change out the Pokemon Center. Fuck. You know what? I'll keep it a secret until... <laughs> I'll keep it a secret until... <laughs> I pressed the X button! <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm tired! I was, I've been up since like 4 a.m. because I had to work at an early morning shift because truck was coming in at 5. And now it's 12.24. God damn it. So it'll be supple for you? Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. You know what? I think I like this voice a bit better for him. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose. Sorry, buddy. I bet you will be Hop. I bet you, yeah, you will be Hop. Okay, that's, I don't know, some certain sentences just don't flow off the, like, I can't read it in a coherent manner that it rolls off my tongue naturally. It, it's weird. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Ruiz. So you two can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Oh, look at those little Cheeto hands. And you'll come with me. With a winner, after all. Chosen will show you the ropes, he's strict but real strong and real kind too. Worst case scenario, I kill you and trade you off for something better. You know? He's gonna be eviscerated after this. Alright, enough of all this training nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Oh fuck, now I'm hungry. It has been a good bit since I, eat, since I ate dinner. Oh shit, those look good. Why does switching video games and anime always have to look fucking good? Hell, even in some cartoons, food looks pretty fucking good. The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right Hop? You two getting, getting on alright? Understand one another? Maybe even built up a bit of a love? Of course I have, Lee. Ruiz has made fast friends with Asabel too. Listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. Technically. What you looking? Looking? Wait. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who's going to come and challenge. Be coming to challenge you. If you think Ruiz might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on becoming my champ. Missing out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Jesus Christ, can you come up with shorter sentences? Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper first trainer proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're pretty worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Don't get fucking cocky. You had a Wulu. He was delicious. I had to catch a new one, you know. And I'll eat that one too. Guess I'll be the judge of that. Well, let's see how you handle yourself in battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing to, willing and ready to take Hop on his first ever Pokemon battle of your life? No, but I guess I'll have to. Believe in your partner in Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Have a champion time battling with them. Is that proper grammar? I don't know. I'm not an English major. Losing like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainer alike. Let's do this. I've watched every match in Lee that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Ooh! Ooh, okay! You're talking about Pokemon trainer, huh? Alright, send out your freaking, uh... Oh yeah, you have two Pokemon. I have one. This is at a poor disadvantage. If Pokemon Battle it is, then I've got two partners with me. Oh my god. Should do I have potions? I do! Okay, I can win this. Fight. Oh god, I don't have a fourth move. I mean, I don't, have the, I don't, I don't start off with a water gun. Pound it is! Get him, Sobble! 
Look at that chip damage. Oh, sadly, I know that Wulu is going to be breaking off that fence soon, as it was hinting towards that. Alright, two more pounds should do it. If anything, you know, I'll, I'll lose a... I'll, I'll lose. I'll... <laughs> I don't know, hopefully I don't lose. But I'll use a uh, growl or two. Fight, come on, one more pound. Yeah, there we go. Ulu, get out of here. Adios, sayonara, bye bye. I don't, I'm kind of liking. There we go. I'm kind of liking the graphics here. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. You're about to get fucked up, Hop. Uh, da -da -da. Mm, can I do it right away? Okay, let's just do it right away, see what happens. Sobble uses Water Gun. How much damage? We're winning this. Easy. Did you already know about type advantages? Bitch, I've been playing Pokemon since Ruby and Sapphire. Alright. Bye bye Sayonara. Get the hell out of here. I'm kicking your brother's ass. I'm gonna eat that Wulu too. <laughs> I have no clue what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> Mm. Level 7! Mm, I think we're also on minus attack nature. <laughs> you beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and Sub are too much. Give me, yeah, give me that freaking 400 real quick. So that freaking, that's an average paycheck for me. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why I... I guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Maybe almost wants to let out Charizard and joining on the fun. I die. I know. <laughs> Good effort out there, Slobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Ruiz, I've got a real promise. You've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I'll kick his ass every time. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You join the Gym Challenges. You think you're ready for a single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash here, little brother. If you really want to do that, if you really... Wait, if that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Ruiz, before you think you can... Before you think about getting gym badges, Jesus Christ. Can I stop talking? Best to think about getting a Pokedex. The trainer's Pokedex helps them learn a lot about the things about the Pokemon out here, including their strengths. But more than just a collection of data, you know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Oh, right, 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 right. We get it. Pokemon Dex is then. We're on it. It looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Ruiz. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let Professor know what to expect to you. I'm going to become the next champion, so not co completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Especially this generation, it'd be a lot easier. Just another page in my le tale of legend. You'd probably, uh, you'd probably better go tell your mom that you're heading out, though. Oh, is this when we're going to find out Wulu escaped? Yep. Ruiz, did you hear that just now? Oh no, the gate opened, the wool was there. Uh. I was tackling that fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through here, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember Professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Reese, what do you say? We gotta save it. Right, even if we're not supposed to do this, it's the kind of scene. Where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Ruiz. And I still got two potions. Let's go. Ah, uh, slumbering weld? Weald? How would you pronounce that? I don't actually know. Well, what do you think you get off to? Actually, while we're doing this, let me... Turn this up a bit. I don't, I don't know how loud this actually is on like on recording, but it's coming in pretty low in game audio, which is just to make sure that we get some, you know, some good audio quality. I, I just noticed it's 25 minutes in, so. That's really, where do you think you got off to? 
The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Alright, fine, we'll look for it. Okay. First encounter is gonna be... Ooh, a little chipmunk little buddy. I'm pretty sure this might be a, like, first, you know, Pokemon you find in the grass type of situation. I don't think we have Pokeballs. No, we do not. Makes sense, we don't have a Pokedex yet. So you know what? Water Gun this... What was its name? <laughs> Squovit? Squovit. This little Squovit here. It looks actually pretty cute, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. With his like, little puffy cheeks, and the way he has his fluffy tail. That's sort of also kind of like, um, ruffled up a bit. It's nice. It's very nice. Level 7, there we go. Well, we've been level 7, we got 11 experience from that. Can I, like... <gasps> I crawl through this. I mean, I, could, I, knew, I know I probably could have done that before, but... It's more apparent now. Ooh! I know, like, I'm kind of liking the scenery here. Like, the fog. Ooh! Okay! That actually sounds pretty nice. Soundtrack for this. Um, actually, uh, Rupee D. I think you've over to Corbin Knight, if I'm not mistaken. So I did take a look at the leaks a bit here and there, but they're still like. Just because I look at the Pokemon doesn't mean I'm going to remember it. So, like, for example, that elephant, I remember CA. But it kind of caught me off guard, because I forgot it existed. <laughs> Alright. Was that a roar or something? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, do you think? Oh no, Wooloo's eaten. He's getting eaten by the wool. Jesus fucking Christ, this game. It's a first encounter everywhere. <laughs> Sobble. Water gun it. Oh, so it's female. Why would you look at that? Tail whip. Yay. Yay. Lower down my defenses. But you know, I'm not sure what a water gun you. Get, the, you know, get, get that nice little chip experience here and there. It's not a lot. But it's something. I mean, that was nice. That was a good chunk. For level 7 at least. Has to go this way. There he goes again. Come on, Ruiz. The Wooloo might be in real trouble. I think it's eaten. Hop. I don't. I, I. I. I think we should head back. Hop. Oh God. Hop. All right. Into the jaws of the mouth. The fog is getting real thick. The further we're going, though. Like Jesus Christ, this fog is thick. Hop. Is that you? This is mad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face! I think I get it now while this place is off limits. Oh no. Up? Are we in a cutscene? I think so. Does that usually mean something epic or something bad's gonna happen? Uh, we'll fi- Don't move, Ruiz. Oh god, what in the- Go to you! Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Wait a second, I, I, I gotta listen to this. Okay. Alright. Alright, also I like that fucking design, that looks badass. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, like, Pokey, like, my favorite, one of my favorite things besides, you know, playing Pokemon is its soundtrack. Ooh! Okay! Alright! Let's get our ass kicked! Growl out of Sobble! <laughs> Maybe we'll live a hit! What? Uh, 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 Nani? Bakina! What? 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 The, the, the word had, the move had no effect? The, the water got it! Uh, uh, what the? Oh no. Stop, but we should run. Please, I, I can't see anything. Uh, are you okay? I can't run away for some reason. Oh god, Sabo! He has bloodlust! I don't know what's gotten into him! 
it's getting thicker. Hello? I, I, I can't see anything. The music also getting like, you know, like, drowned out as we're transitioning out of this battle. That's kind of cool. What happened? Oh god, am I dead? This looks like a lot of forest. Maybe I'm in hell. Oh wait. I haven't woken up yet. Now I've woken up. Am I dead? Oh no, Hop's still here. He wouldn't be in my heaven. Hop! Louise! What? Lee, how did you manage to find your way here? Your pants with direct. Wait, your pants with directions. Oh. Uh, he dies with directions. You always get lost. Okay, that's nice to hear from... Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother. You had, who had me worried? Sick? I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, wait, wait where's Rulu? We were trying to rescue the Rulu. Oh, obviously. I've captured him. I'm going to eat him after this. Please don't. That's not even my Rulu. Fine. Little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here, you know this place is out, out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hal. God damn it, this fucking place is music. I don't know why. Like, it's not like super like energetic, but it's just like, it makes me want to move my shoulders, you know? Ooh. It sounds like this where I wish I could afford, my fa afford a face cam, but that's not going to be until like late December, so. <laughs> Hopefully not in this playthrough. And at least that Wulu is alright. Yeah, Ruiz? I thought we had, I thought we had it when that weird fog started rolling and that mad Pokemon attacked. Lisa wasn't all for nothing. Hop, that Pokemon didn't attack us. It was very aggressive and just looked very scary. Hop, it didn't even attack you. you it, it was. I, I think I'm gonna kill it next time I see it. Would you like to eat a wolf? Attacked by a mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hop? It seems low stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. It seemed to pass right through it. Moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say lived in Slumbering Weald. Weld. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an info from Lee. What an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Yeah, too bad your life is going to end with me. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. I don't know why it's still a hard name for me to say. She'll go spare if, she, if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Okay. Alright, I'll go do that. Postwick. That is a weird fucking name. <laughs> hey mom, I'm leaving. Bye. Oh no, cutscene. Wow! Slapple noises! <laughs> well, now isn't the Slapple just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from Leon. I'm glad you. glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, weren't you? Aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something for, uh, something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember, the Slapple will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the port. The poor deer too hard. He's a bunch of ones and zeros. I'll push him as far hard as I want to, bomb. Jeez. Sapple noises. And you, Sapple, look after my little Ruiz. Come on home. Come home to rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Okay, bye, Mom. Glad to know, gotten to know you. Never to be seen again. Ah, at least until I, you know, become champion and I get sent back here. But you know, that's not gonna be for a while. I'm not talking to that dude. That dude's weird. He smells funny. Here we go, this is a quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming a cha the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up score bunny by a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Is that the Pokemon Center? Oh, that's the, that's the Pokemon Research Lab. You know what? I'll oh, it's forcing me to go. Okay. Alright. Hey, buddy. 
How you doing? It's my actual Pokemon. There's also Pokemon that I'm seeing. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool! Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Contain yourself, dragon. I do wish they picked a better rendering method to render in like models and stuff instead of just like having them like. See, those ones appear like they're fading in and out, but there's some models that you just sort of see start from the bottom and start like rising up like they're growing. I don't know. But it also seems like some models also just like fade in and out. It, it's weird. There's this weird mixture of both I just noticed. You know that I'm going crazy. <sighs> How are you doing, Charizard? Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm glad I got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Charizard noises. Low key? I, I've always liked the design with a bunch of books and then like a second floor with like a metal staircase with more books. I don't know, it's just like a simplistic design choice that I really like. I don't know why. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fantastic. Whatever that Pokemon's name is, noises. Yeah, you. Whatever your name is, noises. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-seen-before super-strong Pokémon? I wish you stopped these outlandish requests. Jesus fucking Christ. Give me a goddamn break. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is the real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to a rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost in the road. Yamper noises, yamper noises. That's what I was supposed to say. Oh yeah, and that's his traitor, Sonia. She's a bit of a bitch. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food that you can gobble down in the flash. I feel like that's sexist in some regard, but at the same time, good food's good food. You know? <sighs> what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out, I did too. Uh, I'm grief a little. Anyway, nice to meet you. My name is Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Ruiz. He's a new Pokemon trader. Set him on the right path, would you? Okay. Oh, look, little scamp. I'm gonna follow him. He's so wise. What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. No wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you got your Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Wait, they sell phones with a Poke- Then I've had a Pokemon with me this entire time! That is BS! <laughs> Rotom phones are handle those things, aren't they? Well, I've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon gets lost, so... Oh, sorry, so tell me. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? Yep. Well said. In that case, I'll be sure to make it so you can use the Pokedex in your Rotom phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Can you let Gran know that you see the Pokedex? She lives in the house alongside her out too. Okay. Can I have Pokeballs? Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? That means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to you trainers and giving them useful stuff. Give me Pokeballs. Yeah, potion. Blah blah blah, potion. Knowledge is power. Read everything you can read on your journey. Fuck you. I want Pokeballs. <laughs> I'm an ungrateful little trainer. Give me Pokeballs. You got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time we meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team very bad way. Not to mention. What battling other trainer can do. Luckily, we got the Pokemon Centers. Free healthcare, you know? Luckier yet, yeah, they're dead easy sp to spot. They look the same wherever you go. I mean, very interesting game to game, depending if they decide to change the design or not, like they did with this game. Come on, Ruiz. Bet you've never seen inside one. I've seen inside plenty. You gotta realize, I'm not a 10 year old kid. I'm actually 
a kid that has reincarnated several dozen times throughout many different timelines and alternate universes with a bunch of pre-Pokemon knowledge in my head. Sure you are, buddy. Level with me, Ruiz. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't need you to tell me... That you don't need me to tell you what you already know. That's why I heard about this game and I love it. You can skip tutorials. <laughs> if you take... We can, uh, sorry, my throat's actually starting to up. There's constant talking. I want to start catching. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, Ruiz. Maybe you can find me. Maybe Come find me when we're done. When you are done. I'm set. Pokeballs? I'm here to buy. Baka. No thanks. Damn it. Okay. Oh my god, there's a Rotom PC. You see, me, I caught that glimpse of that thing in one of the trailers and I had to pause it because it passed by like in a second. And my friend was like, what the fuck? But, wrote on PC and now I know what it is. The fuck are you? Yes. Oh my god, I can rename Sobble. Uh, sorry, let's go to the slots real quick. Select. Yes, I know, I know. Yes, I know. I, what I wanted to name it, I was trying to hit freaking that button right there. I wanted to name it Yusuke, because it looks like it's doing... Okay, it looks like it was doing the spirit gun and it's promotional art. So, that's why I wanted to name it. Yes! Oh, wait, no. No, 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 we're, we're, we're set. Yus Yus Yusuke's all set. What the fuck is that Pokemon? I guess I'll find out. We're going to right Route 2. How you doing, Hop? Listen, Ruiz, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate! The annual competition where trainers can battle it out to the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is you gotta, in gotta be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I think I ought to talk to the presser and see if she could help. We gotta take part, too. We gotta get them sponsorships, man! There was Pokemon sponsorships! A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give it our teams a chance to train a bit along the way. I don't need to train. I need Pokeballs. Is this the way to Route 2? Mostly glad to see there are actual routes. Over here, Ruiz. Are you about to give me Pokeballs? Maybe, we'll see. Alright, Reese, it's time we fill our teams up a bit. And I'm here to teach you how! You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where did you come from? Every Pokemon's got a type or two which can make it good against some opponents but poor against others. The reason you want to catch different Pokemon is to cover one another's weakness. Basic Pokemon jargon, basic Pokemon jargon. Now let's ha all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. I don't- I don't need to be shown. Go Rookity! This is the- this is the way a real champion catches a Pokemon. I was about to say, you wanna fucking... Throw out Char- You wouldn't have Rookity on your team. Where the fuck's Charizard? Oh, and Grookey! Oh, I already ate him! Oh god, no! Charizard's resting. He, he had the head, I had the rest, you know? Kind of half and half kind of thing, it was weird. Typical Lee. I'll give you some Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask you to catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon right here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, what did he say? JESUS CHRIST! The Pokemon on your team will get experience points too when you catch a Pokemon. And of course they'll get experience points from badly, so take other trainer so take on other trainers to be along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger, no doubt. Even then but even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Off off and away! Alright, we're gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. 
I'm gonna be very picky with my Pokemon. I don't know what I want on my team yet. Do I want Galarian Zigzagoon? You know what? What is this? What the fuck? Blip bug. Uh, you know what? I am gonna run. So I, I don't want to get too strong before I catch something. I might catch a Galarian Zigzagoon. I know. Let's, let's see what else is here. Galarian Zigzagoon it is. Zigzagoon is time. Zigzagoon? Alright, what level are you? Level 6. That's perfect, actually. That means you're going to be relatively up to the same level as uh, Sobble here. Or, you know, Yusuke. You use that Leer. Alright. I typically ca caught Lyunoon a lot when I freaking played... Oh my god, I can just... Yeah, let's just do that. Wait, I already had five Pokeballs? When did I get five Pokeballs? Probably when I got the Pokedex, now I'm thinking about it. Huh. Oh well. Did I catch it? Yes. Now, the thing is... What am I gonna call you? Um... Zigzagoon Zana will be added to the Pokedex. Zigzagoon, the tiny raccoon Pokemon. Dark, normal, 1 foot 4 inches, 38.6 pounds. Number of battles, 1. Galarian form. Thought to be the oldest form of a Zigzagoon, it moves and zigzags and wrecks havoc upon its surroundings. This is a thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon. Okay. Uh, what to call you? You know what? I don't know why. It's probably because of the star. I don't know how to spell. It's probably because of, like the star, black star things on your head. But I want to call you Stars. Star is the Zigzagoon. I don't know if I want to catch anything else yet. Corviknight, maybe, but I don't know if I want to use any other generic like starter. But oh, you're that little insect. That oh no, you wait, you're. Huh. Wait a second, do you evolve into... Alright, we're catching you. I think he might evolve into Dreadnought. That freaking turtle looking ass Pokemon. Which I wouldn't mind. He might. I think he does, because it's the same color scheme. It's also a turtle. Put two and two together, you know? I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> when I was looking at it, for a second I thought it was the worm. Alright, catching you two, buddy. Let's go. This is the good thing about a normal playthrough, which I typically, when I play a Pokemon game, I do a normal playthrough first. And then, you know, after a couple months, after we beat this game, we'll probably attempt to do a Nuzlocke with it. We'll see what happens. Trulet. Uh, what should I call you then? You see, as the last Nuzlocke I was playing, I was playing freaking Pokemon, um... Moibon Emerald Super Randomized Nuzlocke, which has been delayed. Well, it's going to be on hiatus right now while we play this. Same thing with our Pokemon Glaze normal Let's Play. It's going to be hiatus while we're doing this. I don't, know, I, I don't think I've stated that yet, but... Chulet, the snapping Pokemon. Water type. One foot <laughs> tall. 18.7 pounds. Number of battles? Battled one. It starts off battles by attacking with its rock hard horn, but as soon as the opponent flinches, this Pokemon bites down and never lets go. In that case, I will call you Chomper. There we go. You see, our team's filling you. Okay. Um, before we do anything, let's let's actually have Chomper out front. Have these two be here? I mean, they're going to experience anyway, just from battling, but, you know, just, uh, just so we, we, we can try out some new things. Um, I had a time, let's just heal potions of dirt cheap, so, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Heal that up. What other kind of items do we have? We have a key item, is that the Rotom Phone or Adventurous Guide? We will, Bob, we start with a fishing rod? Okay then, game. I mean, pff, I'm not going to stop you. Please, we already have two water types now. Which makes me worried. 
So we get, we're weak to electric, grass. Most of all are weak to. Electric, grass. I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, is, it, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. So we, we, got, we, got, we gotta get some more type cover it, co coverage. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle with their eyes meet. Okay, sweater boy. Beat the living shit out of you, youngster Drake. You get a little scroll bit there. A little puppy cheats right there. I bet you looks too, you know, cute. I'm gonna chop your ass. Oh, wait. I don't, I don't have any biting related moves. I'm gonna water gun you real quick. Yikes, you are a physical attacker. Either that or this thing has some mighty fine special defense. Because it makes sense, you know, chomping and everything. I was hoping because of the stab. Oh, God. Yikes. Okay, another tackle, please. These battles. They move so slow. Well, we can't just steamroll through these people yet. You're gonna use Tail Whip? Ha! Huh. Do you think that's gonna scare me? It probably should. Let's just hope you don't crit. You know, just, you just don't quit. Crit, and we should be fine. Chomper, you living. Tackle, Bye bye Squovit. Give me that delicious, delicious XP. Well, nom 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 nom. You know what, that's also good because Chomper does get more experience compared to the rest of the party. And I actually do want to evolve Chomper. And also, seeing as we got 67 and how the other one got 37. Well, actually, no, because never mind. I was about to say the EXP growth rates were probably different, but I just remembered it probably also got some experience when you caught Chomper. Which is going to be gonna confusing real quick when I actually see the Pokemon and I start calling it by... <laughs> My nickname is of the actual name. Um, whatever the heck this thing's name was. We actually, uh, freaking... It's species name. Check summary. Chulet. That's what it was. Uh, Chutel. Chutel. Like, like, a, it's a chewing turtle. Chutel. Uh, you are... Adamant? Yes, you are an adamant nature, so yeah, you have minus special attack. Zigzagoon is serious, so nice and neutral. Sobble is modest. Wow, who would have guessed? I've been pretty spot on with these natures when I've noticed the damage. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not catching any of you. Hey, look, I replaced some of the potions already. Oh, it ran into me. Okay, little... Blip hug? Blip? Wait, what was that? Blip hug or blip bug? Blip bug. Blip bug. Blip plug. Okay. I almost said butt plug, but now I just did say butt plug, but... You're adamant. Ad he's adamant. 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 Use tackle until we can... I know this is candy that can change nature, but to be fair, Dreadnought does... Uh, is it... I'd probably say the name wrong, but it did look like a physical attacker. But Trudel is adamant. So Chopper needs to be using Tackle. Use your Struggle Bug, that's perfectly fine. Out of here. Adios. Tackle. Saya freaking nada. Bye bye. Adios. Saya nada. Oh my god. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Like, this is... Like... I don't know. It's been a while since I've actually played just like a po Pokemon game, and the fact like... Well, I admit, yes, uh, so I, I, I have seen- Ooh, do I want to battle you? Um... Yeah, sure, why not? Cute and strong, together in combination. Yeah, you're losing. Last Lauren. Alright. Oh. Well, this is awkward. What level is your true toll? Oh, okay. So we're, we're going to have a tackle battle then. Is that, is that what's happening? Four. The three points of damage. I think I'm doing more damage because I'm adamant, so I got the new like this good physical boost here. Four, uh, three. Okay, it seems to be doing three points of damage each time. Of course, those both could have been low rolls, possibly. But, you know, who knows at this point. Alright, I should be able to take two more. 
And by that I mean I should be able to take one more and then the other one will kill me. Mmm, come on, we're going through this. Yeah, there we go, thank you. Choodle, love you buddy. Choodle. And you went bite. Yay me. We are cute and nothing more? It looks like our sugar will have ways to go. Yeah, give me the 500, alright? That's a dick move. Um... Chomper, let's have stars up front, because I, I feel like we can have a way to heal over there, at least. And I don't want to waste too many potions, even though I said they were dirt cheap. Oh! Bum, 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 I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. You couldn't beat Hop, and I beat Hop. You're not gonna beat me, Benjamin. Alright? With your freaking blip pug. Blip bug. Alright? Uh, Alright, uh, sand attack, lick, tackle, leer, sand attack. Would lick do more damage? Because it's sta oh wait, it's not stab. He's dark normal. Never mind. Attack will do more damage. Also, that lick animation. Wait a second. I oh my god, you're bug tape. That's right. Aha! 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 You skate coming out? You skate. You need to um. You need to destroy this thing. Because it, 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 it's, it's kind of scaring stars a bit. He's lowering down our special attack. That's great. We're one, down one stage at least. And now we're done. Down one stage. Oh, we probably would have killed. Don't don't lower it down two. Please do not lower it down two. Oh my god, they lowered down this twice. God damn it. Please still kill with the water gun. That's all I ask. Thank you. What's your next Pokemon? Nickit? Hmm? Yeah, I'll switch Pokemon to Stars, just to see what the hell that type of thing is. And to get Stars some, you know, more experience, balancing out the party, you know? Nickit. Oh, that thing! I don't know what exactly what you are yet. The typing wise, but I do like your design. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Leer twice, and then I'm going to potion up. Oh, it's being smart. All right, uh, bag, potion up. I mean, I probably could have waited, but we're around the same level, so you do as much damage to me as I can do to it. And it's gonna use Quick Attack. I'll have a. Uh, you only brought it down one stage. Calm down. You're doing three damage to me. Wow. Tackle this Nickit. Oh, quick attack, of course. You're, you're gonna attack first. I gotta remember that, because it's quick attack. It's going to attack first, of course. It's obvious. But I'm gonna two-shot you, so I don't have to worry at all unless you crit. And even then, I don't think crit's gonna kill at this point, at least. Bye bye Hmm. Alright. Bye bye, Benjamin. Yeah, you lose to too many trainers. That's your own damn fault for challenging me. I'm not going to you. That's just trying to chase me. <laughs> Look, there's the professor! So, have you unraveled this, all the secrets of Dynamax Phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no, the fuck! The whole thing is a full, so full of questions. It was recently added. Mega evolution it seems to have disappeared. Zemus, oh, I should stop opening up these open sore. I should stop, you know, digging into these open wounds. I hope my granddaughter would take over my research, but ah. oh, dearie me, dear, oh, dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. It is mighty fucking cold outside. My old brittle bone's gonna take it. 
Hi, Hop dear. I see Wulu has made, has made some new friends. And you must be Ruiz. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you have completed it. I'm sure you, you'll have it complete in no time. Actually, I am going to try to complete the Pokedex in this game. Mostly because it was cut. I mean, I know the, there was technically no National Dex in Sun and Moon, but I don't know. I joined Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon too late to the point where I was like, I, it's too much of a hassle to complete the decks. But you know, these are new games. My hype for it is a bit, you know, higher. So I'm at least, I'm, I'm going to try. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Ruiz? Look, Professor Magnolia, Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it's just a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, could you do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Ruby's only just started out as Pokemon traders. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong traders, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. Oh god, don't make me nervous. I eat when I'm nervous. Oh, Hop, can I have your Wulu? No. Okay. Our goal is precisely the reason why I gave them both the Pokemon, in fact. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if you two can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no other choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Ruiz. I'm not losing this time. I'm gonna beat your freaking ass. Slowly turning to night. You better hurry up until we get the, get the endorsement. We gotta get a sponsorship, man. Our sponsors! I'm gonna become a great Pokemon, the greatest Pokemon trainer of the race. And to do that, I need an endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Yeah, sure, why not? I got some potions. I'm rather interested to see how these two young trainers battle too, to the point where I don't mind the cold right now. Listen you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take take part in. That's how I got into where I am today, so show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. It's time for your legend to end. Alright, sit down Hop. Mulu? Okay. Okay, Hop. I I'm about to teach you a lesson in stars here. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put in a test to see. Okay, I'm gonna lose Leer twice. Spam tackle. Heal up, things like that. Tackle me all you want. You're oh, it actually did four points of damage. Look at you. Look at you, freaking hop uh, pawns. <laughs> Hops! <laughs> Hops, you, 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 you're doing a bit more damage to me, actually. So this is the game we play. Stop growling me, you motherfucker. Alright. Take the leader like a man. Thank you. I want to attack you with plus two to my tackle. Alright. Stars use tackle. How much damage is it going to do? Eh, uh, that was a low roll we can kill. Or we get a crit. Either or. Bye bye, Wulu. Oh no, just barely. You're, you're st like, it's still technically like a plus one my attack, so you're fine. And I'm at minus two attack right now. You're at minus three defense. So, you know, it's even and out to my favor. Thank you. All right, who are you sending out next? Score bunny? Yes, I will switch out my Pokemon. Um, I'm actually gonna switch out to Chopper. Because Yusuke doesn't need a challenger score bunny, alright? Chopper is all I need for your score bunny. We got that stab! <laughs> Bad natured water gun. I, I did not think this through. How much damage is that doing? Oh, that was a crit! 
Five plus eight, eight damage, I was a critical. But we're still two-shotting you, so it's fine. Well, look at you! Seems you've really learned your, your type matchups. Of course I have. Oh, that was a crit. You let the critical hit my Pokemon? You got plenty of spirit, that's for sure. Jesus Christ, I'm actually liking these interactions with the trade. Like, that was one thing I did like about freaking, um... Black and White a lot, that they, did, they, they sort of they dropped off a bit more towards 6th and 7th gen. I mean, I think, they, I think they occasionally had it. How's the taste of a true power? Our flames are burning bright, but they're going, like, all out with the dialogue here, with in trainer battles, but you know what? That, 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 that's a plus in my book right now. Square Bunny fainted. What's your next Pokemon? Is it going to be the, the fly, basic flying type? Switch Pokemon. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, let, let's send out Yusuke. Alright? Chopper, return. Yusuke, come on out. Alright? It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you can't eat- uh, I can't eat berries. Well, that's fine. I wasn't planning to eat any berries. I was planning to water gun you to death. Just open up that big- POUR IT IN THERE! Drown up that freaking- Whatever that Pokemon's name was that just passed by. Oh, God. Good thing that I lost, but I expected nothing less from my rival. I beat you to a bloody pulp. I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The same defeat, the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? I mean, at least I beat Benjamin back there. Ruiz, hop! Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as a champion. Even though you kind of suck, hop, but that's fine. I'm endorsing you. You got the champion as your sponsor. You're starting off big, kids! Letter, that recommenda letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charles and I were both feeling the explain every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out and things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you, Ruiz. You actually know what you're doing. All right, Ruiz. You and me, we're gonna train up to get train up against one another and aim for the championship title. Absolutely, obviously. And the more and the more we battle against each other, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh, what's that? Is this going to allow us to Dynox? Ruiz, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you take one yourself. What does a wishing star do? You stone fire in the Gala region with serious power. It is said that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive! Yes! Trust you to pull something like this. They see wishing stars fall down for those who have true wish in their heart, you know? Jesus fucking Christ! What a stroke of luck! Oh god, one of you two is a protagonist, aren't you? Oh no. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I WILL be the greatest trainer ever! Jesus Christ, I said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region, but they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on Dynamax phenomenon, have you, Professor? Then please, give your reason me the power to Dynamax your Pokémon. First we got a battle against the, that mad Pokémon in the slumbering world, and now this? It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but that sort of don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Hey, I'm here too. It seems like I came back home right at the time they, 
Wait and time with all the excitement, something like that. I don't know, I hit the A button too soon. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trend in curries. Shit, you know, I've never had curry, but it always seems like a type of dish that I'd actually enjoy eating. <sighs> morning at last. It's time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Oh my god, let me just... Sorry, I, I, I gotta memorize her voice, because, like... The gre like my like elderly woman voice and the voice I gave to her are somewhat similar. It's just like, very slightly different. <clears throat> Hop, is it true you really just bet some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was a weird heavy fog. Then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Marie's tried to fight it off, but I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Alright, I found enough information. I've. A right, right fount of information you are. <sighs> Ruby's hop, these are for you. Here you go. Yep, Dynamax Band. Yep, here we go. You know, those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing star, char, star wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. I, I actually have been trending away from this voice that I said I was originally going to do for him. So I, I, I found it again, but let's hope I can remember it this time. It's just like the one Lee had on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have a, have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That'll help you fill out your Pokedex too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. I ended it twice already. Shut up, Ruiz. Come on, Ruiz. I'll beat you to the station at least. Because I can teleport. Uh, what the hell? What does this do? Wycom. Wycoms offer you many ways to connect to other players. You'll be welcome to swap Pokemon, take part of Pokemon battles, and more. There's never a shortage of things to do. When the sample arrives in the Wycom while you're out in your adventure, it means that another traders are around looking for someone to connect with. Press the Y button to see who's around. Normally you can connect using the Wycom to connect with people close by, but if you press the plus button, you can connect people to the internet, and you'll be able to connect with people around the world. Select stamps that show... So the silhouette of a Pokemon on it, and you'll be able to team up with your fellow Pokemon trainers to battle that Pokemon. Yay, yeah, I Why am I in an Eevee onesie? Okay. Uh, 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 Alright. Yay. Oh, you have a Choodle. Okay. Let's head back out. Wrong way. That's right. Doors. Doors are this way now. Where the hell are we going? By the way, is, are my Pokemon healed? Yes, they are. Oh, a giant pause just in the second. Damn. One last thing before we race, Ruiz. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move... Oh my god, real slowly, I can crouch down. Those Pokemon won't pay any notice. You, oh my god. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. And I don't know why, I just saw this fit of burping now. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail proof trick? Use the left stick. Try it out, Let's see if you can catch the most Pokemon, Ruiz. I, mean, I don't need to. Remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That's to be the goal. So see you there. I can at least beat you in that. Okay, so that's how we do it. Alright. That's good to know, good to know, good to know. Hi there, buddy. 
I'm at least going to catch you to see like what your typing is. I mean, I don't know. If you are a similar typing to Zigzagoon, then I'll swap up Zigzagoon. Because I'll honestly, like, I, I've used Zigzagoon a lot before. And I mean, not specifically Galarian Zigzagoon, I would say. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. Alright. Now, bag. Pokeball. Use I, actually, I could have used the freaking hot shortcut to turn an eye up. I completely forgot about that. I wasn't looking. One, a two, a three, and a... Oh, there we go. Okay. Licket was caught. Alright. Licket's that will be added to the Pokedex. It is pure dark type, so... Yeah, I think we're going to replace uh, stars with, with uh, Nicket. Nicket, a fox Pokemon. Dark type, 2 feet, 19.6 pounds. Number of battled, 2. Cutting and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases it erases its tracks by the sweeps of its tail, making off with its plunder. That really makes me want to name you sw um, Swiper. However, you know what? I'm going to name you after a little fox lady in FGO named... Actually, let me look up this name before I take this out. I'm not going to do Tomomo, that, uh, Tomomo no Mai. That's more Ninetales. Um, sort of shtick there. Alright, let me check if I got the spelling right. Alright, I'm going to name you Suzaka after the other fox-related one. Su Z Suzuka. Suzuka. Alright, Suzuka. Suzuka. Wait, 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 wait. Suzu Suz Suzuka. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I it's like 126 and like in about like two and a half hours I'll be up for a full twenty-four, so I, I'm kind of like out of it a bit. Uh K A. There we go. Suzuka. Suzuka. Okay. Suzuka has been added to your party. Alright, uh, how do you look, stats-wise? Check summary. What moves do you know, Suzuka? You are... Quick attack beat up. You don't seem like a special attacker. You're careful nature. Often lost in thought. All alone. Blah 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 blah. Da 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 da. You know. You know, you know how it goes. If you play Fire Emblem. Specifically Fates, of course, but... Oh! Eh, I don't think I want to use that. I feel like that's another normal type. Or normal type like Pokemon there. Rookity, I'm actually going to run away from you. Actually, am I going the right way? Oh no, we gotta go to the station, that's right. University berries, run. Yeah, I gotta go to the Pokemon Center, put stars in the PC for now. You know, unless I decide I don't like freaking Suzu Suzuka. I actually like how there's also like Pokemon just like wandering this area here. You know, outside of the grass. Well, you know, not like outside of the grass, but like in this little area here, compared to the ones that were in the grass, that were sort of see like they are stuck there a bit. Witchhurst? Okay, that's still a weird ass name. It's an item. Free revive, I'll take it. That's kind of a nice little subtle way to tell you there's an item there, besides like not knowing at all. Come on, Ruiz, you'll never... Come on, Ruiz, you'll never beat me to the station at this pace. Off he goes. Yeah, sorry, I, 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 I gotta put one of my partners in the PC, because, uh... He got replaced. How are you doing there, Rotom? Alright, stars, move in the PC with you. We'll have uh, Suzaka up front, so like, it's the lowest level. Then we'll have Yusuke at the bottom, Chopper in the second bottom right, uh, bottom right there. Or right in the middle, I guess. Ooh! I never actually said, I don't think I paid attention to the animation of that before. Alright, that's... Alright then. Uh, no, I'm fine. Actually, it's, 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 I, I don't want to talk to you. 
If anything, I want to use other clothes. I want to customize the character. But I'm going to wait till they actually show me how to do that. Or at least, you know, obviously like, obviously state that I have the option. So, I was the How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. Do Is it shiny? And you got to yourself... Ooh, just one. It looks like we're out of draw. Though, we are rivals after all, so that's fair. Okay. That's a technical machine. A TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokémon a new move in a flash. You can use them again and again, too. That one you teach us to move swift. Lee gave it to me years ago. Now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. I've never been in the train. I didn't know if I'd actually like it. Not quite so fast, you two. M Mom, what are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day would come. Was coming since the moment you chose Scorbunny as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last gift to see you all set on your way. A kit for camping. Basically a free Pokemon Center in the wild area and some other areas. Yeah, the wild area specifically. Which I think, the way I've heard is that the wild area is like this part that's like in the middle of the region that's like kind of vast. But there are still like routes and stuff that do. Uh, there are still like set routes and stuff. Thanks, mom. Uh, uh, thanks, mom. And I and just think how lucky you are, mother, to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain the next champion, I'll be the next champion you see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be back home anytime. All right, we'll be fine. Bye bye. We're just like blah 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 bye bye. Whenever we're gonna see you again, bye mom. Ba 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 da da da. Come on. Ah, Lucas on his phone. Surrounded by a vast wild era area. Real say also to wild Pokemon wandering. Where everything looks good. You everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out and do spot fishing. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. You see, I wouldn't mind fishing, but the problem is, I would have two water tapes on my team. So, unless it's something like a king draw, which I don't think king draws even in this game. Or is it something similar to a water dragon type. Yeah. Hey, Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopping here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of wooloo on the tracks. What's that to be sorry about? This is a brilliant! Br brilliant? The wild area is massive! There are loads of Pokemon to battle here! Don't you get it, Rubies? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team! Shit, you're right, let's go! Oh god! Walls! Ugh! Find your way through the wild area to reach a Motostoke. Oh my god, this looks freaking gorgeous for a Pokemon game. Oh my god. And finally, it's nighttime after it's like 1 a.m. Because we're fighting finally out of the little thing that I'm pretty sure was predetermined to be day and then like dawn and dusk and stuff like that. That's Motostoke, way off that way. And between here and there are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, oh, if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Uh, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I would think I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If we discover something really huge, then maybe even Grand will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has... Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? You have no fucking idea, Hop. That's why you think I need to play this game to escape my adulthood right now. I said you need to worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. And it's fun, it's great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. 
Well, I'm off to stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle a snot ton of bunch of po Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the legend of my tale. What a cheek. Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on a point that's not strong. We find spots where here in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up for it, check it out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? A Pokemon box link, the hell? A device that allows you to access Pokemon storage. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's so cool. Okay. With a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon your team into the into your boxes, or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go catch. So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like, and fill some more of your Pokédex. World area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. No more tutorials. There must have been one or two more, but it's very specific. I wonder if Carter's here yet, because I want. I, mm. Thing is, I know he's not going to wait for me to dynamo. Oh my god, it is raining. Wait, what's that purple one? That one looks extra special. What is that? I mean, the red one, but the... I thought I know, did someone drop it here? Use the right stick to rotate the camera. Yeah, I I, I know, I, 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 already, I already knew this. <gasps> Diggers B! Actually, I've never used one. Think for the tiny mushroom, that will sell. Alright, alright. More Wingles. Is that Esper? Whoa, 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 that's a Tyro, no, Tyro, stop! I don't quite remember every Pokemon that made it, but... Pokemon Dens. The pillar of red light you'll see in the wild area marked Pokemon Den. Dynax Pokemon born in these dens. You'll be able to battle them and investigate your den. You can start your battle on your own, or get three, up to three other players to help you out. So you defeat Dynamax Pokemon, you get the chance at catching it. Additionally, there'll be some rare items you can only get by Dynamaxing. When wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together with other Pokemon trainers is key to take on these Dynamax as a team of four. Um, battle ends, Pokemon faints four times, or the battle least. Okay. Dark and fair. <gasps> I need this. I know what this is. Inviting others. Alright, come on. Let's do this, guys. Come on. Alright. Alright, fuck it. I'm assuming it by myself. No one was coming. That's fine. I'll have these NPC trainers. Yes! Oh! That actually said its name. Okay. Alright. Tail whip. I'm kind of worried now. Oh no. Oh no! I'm not ready! <laughs> Oh no. This is bad. Go! Fight! Fight! Team! Fight! Fight! I put up these fake tears. Ah! You know what? I think I'm going to eventually do this. One of these, well, a couple of these with my friends eventually. I'll probably be in voice calls. That, that, you know, would, would, would you guys like that? CB challenge some of these just things that I know they're gonna release some on like a timely basis. For example, right now I think at some point they're gonna be releasing um uh what's it called um I'm blanking on the name right now. 
but they're going to be freaking releasing the Dynamax Butterfly if it's not already out, right thing, to like, to like a certain point, and can you not do that? Why? Okay, the storm's growing even stronger. Come on, guys. Come on, CPUs. I believe in you. I want to get myself this input dip. I don't care if it's cheating. I want it. I say that Dark Moss going to do a shit ton. Go, team, go! You've only had two painted Pokemon. Evasion's rising. See? Go team go is working! Yeah, la, 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 that's gonna fail. Thank you for the free turn, buddy. It's time. I'm about to catch myself an Impidiff, possibly. Alright. Let's do it! It's time to try it! Impidim! One! Oh my god, the earth is shaking! Two! Three! Oh, that, oh god, it looks like a Death Star! Thank you! Oh. We got some candies, we got some Dynamax candies apparently. We got Play Rough? Okay! Oh, I'm fishing with Impidip. really Pokemon. Dark Fairy. 1 foot 4 inches, 12.1 pounds, number battles 1. It sneaks into people's homes, stealing things, and feasts on negative energy of the frustrated occupants. Okay. Now. Oh, uh, I don't know what to call you. Now, I've seen... There was this one tweet, alright? On Twitter. Where it was like a blurred version of, I think, Impidip's final form Dynamax. And it was put by another, of a, like a freaking image of one of the, like, the first, like, heartless boss that you fight in Kingdom Hearts. And I was like, shit, that looks very accurate. So, you know what? Um, let me look up what that heartless's name specifically is. And if it's too weird, I'm probably just going to call it heartless. Alright, yep, that's the one right there. Dark side. That's its name, I think. At least that's what the wiki said. That's fine. So your name is going to be Dark Side. For now. Until I decide I want to just call you something else. 